Hi friends, welcome to Bella Stitchery. Are you ready to make cute stuff and save the planet all at the same time? Well, you're in luck, because today I'm gonna show you how to make roses, butterflies, fun little embellishments, all out of paper towel and toilet paper rolls. You've been throwing these away, haven't you? Well, now is the time to take one person's trash and turn it into a crafter's treasure. So, let me show you how to begin this magical journey. But before we do that, take a minute, if you will, and subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, let's do this, let's keep this going. Join me on my next adventure and get updates by ringing the bell, that's the whole speech. Okay, so what I did to make these beautiful sheets of potential is take my paper towel roll and cut it just down the center like so. Now, as you may already know, these kinds of cardboard-like rolls, they're not quite chipboard, not quite cardstock. They're kind of in the middle there, which is nice to give you a little bit sturdier of an embellishment that you could still easily punch through with your standard punches, okay? So that's kind of nice. So you take that, just cut it straight down the middle. Don't worry, yes, it's rolly. We're gonna fix it. So you cut your toilet paper too. If you wanna do Clorox wipes on this, hand sanitizer, you can, it's no big deal. So then you're gonna take your water, okay? You don't wanna get these too wet, but just enough so that you can flatten this under a book or put this out on your patio in the sun and it's gonna dry flat. That's how that works, see? Easy, right? I just do a couple little spritzes and then I just smash it. And do the same thing here. Spritz it a little bit. Smash it between a few books. Okay, and then when you come back, ta-da, movie magic. Flat, easy to use. So, what I did to make this card is I took a rose die. I'll put a link to this in my description. And I actually cranked through my paper towel one because I liked this color. So you can cut a section out here. You can really fit probably two to one roll. That's not bad, right? Um, I'm going to use my new Chrome Precision Base Plate, which is amazing. So if you have not seen the tutorial on this, I encourage you to because I do a side-by-side -side comparison and it is really quite amazing. I'm gonna do this off camera just because the chrome is a mirror and it's stressful to just show you my ceiling. So I'm gonna do this and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So just remove your cardboard there. Then what I did for this one, and it might be hard to tell in the video, but I actually inked the inside before I rolled it up, just to give it a little bit more dimension. I also did it with the butterflies. See there? I don't know, you don't have to, but it would be nice too if you use, especially like a whiter one, you could put like a little pink in there, make like a pink and white rose. These are really cool. This, I also will have a tutorial on, it's those makeup contouring brushes that are all the rage. So I just recently bought some to try for myself and they really are quite good. They do a better job blending than even the traditional tools I've been using. So if you wanna see a side-by-side -side comparison on that too, check out that video. And I just did a little bit of inking on the inside here because I do, I'm gonna use a bigger one actually. I do like the look of, I really like distress inks generally but I like adding a little bit more of like a vintage rustiness to my stuff. This ink here is the Distress Ink Vintage Photo. I use this color all the time. It is great for vintage pages, cards, things like that. Okay, so when you're happy with your inking, you can always add more as you go to. Okay, you're gonna take your flower, and what I did is, I took this mat 
And this mat actually came with that Sizzix brush releases from your dies tool. Let me show you. You know this thing here? So you could use it, although this is a really easy one. So like this gets all the little pieces out. It comes with a foam pad. So if you have that or if you have something like that, what I did is I flipped it over, although you could use either side. Then you're gonna wanna take some kind of tool that lets you kind of roll your petals up. This is optional, but I found doing this really helped kind of it fluff out a little bit more. These cardboard rolls too are pretty pliable. So even though this is dry, it's not cracking as I kind of roll into it. It's letting me do pretty much what I want. Okay, so you're gonna do that the whole way through and it's already starting to roll in, see? Just like that. Then what I did is I took the edge I might actually have to add more. See, now that I'm rolling the other way, I'm gonna add some ink on this side too. Okay, because I really want the ink on the inside of my petals. So I'm just gonna add some more to this side. It's part of the handmade journey, right? We've all been there, We're like, oh, you know what? I want it on this side. Okay, so add some ink. Now what you do for these dies, if you're not familiar with them, you could actually do this with regular scissors, just cut a spiral. You could do this with like the fancy scissors that do little scallops too. But this die is pretty cool because it's made for the flowers. So you take this piece and you just tightly roll it and just keep rolling all the way around. Okay, I kind of pinch it together. You're shaping your little rose petals and they just kind of nest in itself, okay? And then when you get to the end, I use hot glue. I'm sure some people use like glue dots, stuff like that, but I really like hot glue for things like this because I wanna make sure it does not go anywhere ever, really. <laughs> Earthquake. You know, everything in the house broke. Look at that rose, just, just sitting there, sitting pretty. Okay, so when you get to the end, you'll have this little piece. I glue that with a little bit of hot glue for starters. Okay, hold it for just a minute. And then what you're gonna want to do to get it like this is I actually use tweezers and fluff out each of my petals, like a real rose. If only I was this good at actual gardening. Because my garden, every summer, I'm like, you know what? How hard could it be? It's hard. It gets hot here, I'm in Eastern Washington, and the sun, whoo, you forget to water those plants one day, I tell you, they don't like that. Just fry so quick. So you're gonna do that with each of your petals here. And if it seems like it's coming a little loosey-goosey on you, it's fine. I just add more glue when I put it down on my card to kind of hold the center real tight. You could also put like little beads in the center or tiny little um, pebbles, things like that if you want like a decorative middle of your rose. So see, just like so. Then I put a little bit of glue down in the bottom. Took my tweezers again and I just tightened up that spiral as tight as it will go. And then I just kind of let it hold it there just till it sets, okay? And that's really, that's really the whole process. Once you make a few of these, especially if you like, do you like reality shows at all? You know, those kind of shows that you don't really have to super pay attention to, but they're just kind of on. This is a fun project for that. You can make a bunch of these, have them, so that when you want to use them on projects, already done. I like making a lot of embellishments all at the same time. And just keep them in a little 
bin and a little cubby and a little Tupperware that I could just go and grab, especially neutral colors like this, because this kind of goes with a lot of the type of things that I make anyway. And there you have your rose. Easy breezy, right? So like I said, this also punches pretty well with, this is a Martha Stewart punch. I made a little butterflies here for my card. Look at that, easy. See that? Simple, simple. And then for these little branches, I actually used the toilet paper one and cut out some branches. These are like a berry branch from Tim Holtz. Same thing, rolled it through my Sizzix. Added some pretty little branches. And who would know? Who would never, ever, ever know that this began its life in a much different way? But I feel like it's almost like a circle of life type of thing. I don't know, maybe I'm just waxing philosophical because I'm here by myself. But um, <laughs> let me know what you think. Hope this was fun for you. Hope this is something you'll try out at home. Leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you feel inspired to go digging through your trash and see what exactly can you hole punch. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure there are other things. Maybe some tin foil. Make some pretty tin foil hearts. Um, but be sure to subscribe and ring the bell and stay in touch so we can craft together every single day. Check it out. Try it out. Let's make some stuff. Bye.